Although I'm American, I don't necessarily agree with the Americanization of the whole world. So I set out on a quest to find some non-American human roots. This quest took me into the depths of the Shikoku Mountains of Kochi, Japan. In these mountains, you can find whole networks of ghost towns where people used to live. Completely abandoned, nobody goes here anymore. But taking a close look inside, I found all kinds of interesting stuff that I'd never seen before. What is this? Now it would take too long to explain everything, so I'll just show you the most interesting thing I found. And here it is, the Irori. Now although there may not be anything very special about a fireplace, compared to western fireplaces that are hidden in the wall, the Irori is smack dab in the middle of the room. Smoke goes out slats in the roof and you can sit around a fire every day with your family. Oh yeah, in the middle of the Irori there's always a curious hook hanging from the ceiling carved in the shape of a fish. <clears throat> Well, to make a long story short, I decided to live here, in the middle of the Shikoku Mountains with the house with the Irori in it. The neighbors were very helpful. This old man wove straw mats for me to sit on around my Irori. This is what people used to sit on in the old days, he said. And sure enough, people started coming over to my house to sit down. These are my neighbors. They would come over one by one and start talking about memories of their childhood when everybody had a house with an Irori in it. I guess that after World War II, when the Japanese seriously started to Americanize, life with fire every day must have began to seem sort of primitive. So slowly the Japanese irori evolved into modern forms of heating and, uh, well, fire was needed no more. By the way, this house that I moved into had the very last irori in my village. One day I purchased a video camera. Yes, I'm American, but as an American, one of my most favorite things to do is to listen to people who come from a country with a long history. These people have lived in the same place for generation after generation, and they carry with them precious knowledge about living on this earth. So my suggestion for today, for everyone trying to get along in a rapidly changing world, is to find themselves in Irori, sit down and begin connecting with the past and the future. It is time to talk to our elders and ask them, what exactly were things like back in the old days? I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. And what do people feel about our future? What direction would we like to go in? I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. This Irori machine does not need any electricity, just fire and people to sit around the fire. Japanese people, American people, old people, young people, any kind of person who is interested in talking about our past and our future. So that's my idea on how to use the Japanese Irori to save the world. Thank you.